you played in, has there been a game like that? That was a pretty high level game, intense. Yeah, yeah, that was a high level game, you know, a good environment. Yeah, that's just college basketball at its finest right there. Coach talked about he felt like one of the issues for you guys offensively was collectively passing up shots. Um, did you feel like you guys maybe passed up a few shots that you should have taken? Yeah, we definitely did. Uh, you know, when we don't shoot the the open threes, the spot up threes, you know, it, it hurts our team. You know, when you play, when you run good offense and you get looks, you got to take one of there. Brad mentioned this at the end of his press conference. So with this stretch where you've got two day prep game, two day prep game for a couple of weeks in a row, so you're going to be a tough son of a bitch to get through it. Just like, how do you kind of view well, what this team has to do in that stretch? Uh, we just got to be, you know, be responsible with our time, you know, be smart off the court. You know, we got to take care of our bodies, you know, and I think we do a really good job of that. We have really good facilities to do that. We work with Fletch a lot. So I think we just got to take care of our bodies and just, you know, just be locked in mentally. You know, the game's really mental. So just being focused on the scout and stuff like that, you know, and I think our, our team's mature enough to do that. You mentioned, like, scouting report mistakes defensively maybe against Northwestern popped up. Like, how do you address that? I mean, what's the process behind the defensive moves? Um, I think just more attention to detail and practice maybe. Uh, you know, those are just mental lapses that can't happen, you know, and – it, it hurt us, you know, that loss hurt. So I think that we're all aware of the mistakes that we made, and I don't think we're going to make them going forward. Coach said he thought Terrence had his best day of practice since he's been back, since his suspension. How have you seen him kind of come back to the old Terrence that he was before? Yeah, I mean, I think just slowly, you know, he's been kind of finding his rhythm. You know, he was really good yesterday, and, you know, he's just slowly gotten better and better. So, you know, it's what I expected Terrence. You know, I, I don't think he's – full into his feel yet and I think he would admit that but once he gets there you know I think I think we're a dangerous team what do you know about Indiana from the scouting report and maybe some some keys for you guys tomorrow um you know a really good team really talented team you know they obviously haven't put it completely together yet you know they're with their record but it's a team that you can't play around with you know that they're, they're really talented well coached it's a team that we got to go out there and uh, complete our game plan to win it, how, how important it is to kind of hold serve at, at home in the Big Ten race? Is, is this a big game for you? And also not wanting to lose two in a row. So. Oh, it's definitely a big game. Any home game, you know, we don't want to lose in front of our home fans. In the Big Ten, you know, it's, it's a close race. So we need everyone we can get. How different, how different has this role been for you than the one you had so <clears throat> just on the floor? Um, You know, I, I don't – you know, I feel like I'm just playing basketball. You know, I don't really – view my roles that different you know I've never really looked at my role as southern like you know I had to do everything you know I've always just kind of trusted my teammates I do the same thing here I trust my teammates and just try to do whatever we can to win games are you being asked to do anything different here that, that you weren't that you weren't able to showcase as much in your college basketball career yeah you know I probably play the ball more here you know running a little more pg than I have in the past so it's definitely you know, it's different. You know, I get the ball in different areas of the court. You know, some the same, some different. So it's kind of, they've stretched my game. You know, I think they've made me a better all-around player here. And uh, yeah, so, but as far as when the game starts, it's just doing anything you can to win. Kind of along those lines, we've seen a lot of, like the whole NBC first team last year is in the big, almost all of it's in the big 10 now. And yeah. kind of a high level. Like, what, what's that kind of showing about the level of play that the Valley is for you guys to all jump up to this role and have success. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm not that surprised. You know, there's there's been really good talent every year I've been in the Valley, you know, and it's a lot of people compare the Valley to the Big Ten in, in terms of, you know, play style and stuff like that. So, you know, the transition makes sense. Obviously, the athleticism and, you know, the length is a little longer, more athletic here. But overall, like, the Valley's got dudes, you know, so I'm really not too surprised. What about the transition to some of these venues? They've been pretty intense, Purdue, Northwestern, going back, Tennessee. Did you experience any of that in the Valley? I mean, not to that caliber. You know, the, the crowds aren't the same in the Valley, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, I feel like once the game starts, it's, it's just basketball. You know, you kind of get in a rhythm. You know, maybe beforehand you look around a little bit. But once the game starts, you kind of just get in the flow of the game and you, you forget about really who's watching you had a three go down against Northwestern. Is that kind of felt like a big three in the moment for you, just to see one go? Is that fair? Like, was that kind of a big one for you? Yeah, you know, it, it feels good. You know, obviously, statistically-wise, this is the worst I've shot, really, in my career. So, uh, 
you know, I just continue to get reps in, trust the work, and, you know, it, it feels good to see him go down for sure.